<laughs> what's good everyone what is good welcome back to the channel with yours truly of course machiavelli hope you all are having a great day today so today we are back with another speed build um fun fact i wasn't gonna upload this because the speed build is kind of a mess you can say um the the me doing the outside i did a very good job i'm proud of myself this is one of my best houses I've ever built on the exterior but the interior um I did good on the interior I love the interior but I did not record it right like it's all over the place so I was literally not going to upload it because it was just so messy but then when I was thinking about it this is one of those houses that I look back I'm like I love like I love this house seriously and all and all like all said to be done even though the recording is bad and everything this has to be one of my most proud, like one of my most cherished house, cherished it, what? One of my most happiest houses, what? Uh, what's the word? Um, one of the best, no, it's not one of the best. It's most cherished house, I don't even know. Um, there's a word, I can't remember it, like usual. But it, 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 it means a lot to me. This house really means a lot to me and I really want to show it to you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just proud of it. I hope you guys like it. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, I, this, this, this house is very spur of the moment. I needed, like, as you can see there, I have, this is from our current household. Um, I needed them to move because they don't, they used to live in an apartment, but now they don't anymore because um, they have enough money to move out and they have a, and there's more, I don't know, they lived in this really small studio apartment. It's time for them to move. So I wanted to make them a house. And so I was going to record it for you guys, but like then, like halfway through it, I wasn't going to record it. And then it, because like it wasn't good and then it got good. So I decided to record it. But by the time I recorded it, I was already like a few ways done the kitchen and in the kitchen, like I made my dream kitchen. <sighs> I wish to God somewhere. I am blessed with this kitchen like and the thing is also with this house is that I made it where it, like it's open to below for the basement but I ran out of money in a little bit so um, I wasn't able to do the basement but it's open to below and I made the stairs to make it look like it's like um l-shaped staircases I don't know if you guys remember the sims 3 we had l-shaped stairs or no it wasn't l-shaped stairs it was like I don't know u-shaped stairs it was weird but um not spiral staircases it was it was another thing it was like I was like a u-shape I don't know but I made it look like an l l-shaped staircase and it was awesome I don't know I love the staircase the staircase makes me so happy even though there's nothing down below that we can actually look at um I do love it um this house like that the the, the down below feature like open to below was actually based off of a youtuber they moved into this house where um they had no second floor so they had a basement done and then there was like open to below for the basement because the, the basement was the living room like the family room and then the upstairs was like the formal living room and so it looked really cool so i wanted to like cre recreate that in the sims but of course i didn't have enough money to make the downstairs basement but the downstairs um, room but anyways it did come out well um it came out very well actually everything came out exactly it came out better than i wanted to be like exact like i said before i was just making this house for my like I was, I was literally just making this house because i needed somewhere for my sims to live and i thought i'd go out on it but it turned out to be like a dream house of mine and then i also in the back i have zero clue if i record this or not but in the back i added um a i think i don't think i added it i don't think i recorded it but i added a second level in the back um and the second level um not that but i added a second level which is like a separate bedroom like it's, it has its own entry door like if you watched my um pearson let's play if you guys remember that one if you remember the old old house where um crystal lived in the house by herself like remember how she had a room by herself in the uh, like a separate from the house I did that for this house and I love it. I don't know. I, I like that aspect because I think I've, I've always wanted to live that like that. I've always wanted that like guest house that I could live in so I can get away from my brothers. Um, but I never got it. So I always recreated it in The Sims. But yeah, this this house just made me so happy. So I thought I'd share with you guys. Even though it's not the best recorded, um, I'm happy with it. And I'm just like, literally, I've never made a house. Like I look at the outside of this house and it looks gorgeous. Like it's not it's not something that I would normally make. I would normally make it with that color, but I would normally I don't I don't normally make um studio houses. They always have to be a second floor. I love houses with second floors, so a studio house is new for me and I don't know, it's just it makes me happy. This house makes me very happy. I'm a very happy camper. Um, I didn't know how the layout was going to be. I was very confused. So I put in some floors. I don't end up using those floors. I always go back to like the Sims 4 um, vampire stuff pack. You know the, the floors in the vampire stuff on the vampire stuff pack. Best floors. I always use them. Um, but yeah, this is that's me making the basement because oops my phone because <laughs> I wanted it to be open to below. So that was me making it like I said. And then I realized that um with a call again it needs you need to get rid of the foundation for it to work 
but it all worked out great. Everything was good. I'm happy. Everything is happy. I, can't, I couldn't ask for anything else um anything better but yeah i think that's it for this build like i said i have i could talk about this build for days because i love it so much um i love the way it came out and of course if you guys want to download it it's on the gallery under hashtag mac builds of course i actually uploaded it about a few days ago i just finally had the time to do a commentary for this video but um yeah if you have a, if you already have me on in, um if you already have me on origin you guys should have already seen it i have no clue i don't really follow anyone on origin so i don't know if you get a notification of some uploads or not um i have zero clue but um it's there so for you to get it i'll try my best to put in um some cc in the comments and uh, i'll try my best to put some cc in the description down below um hopefully i can do it hopefully i can i pray um but yeah here's where i make the staircase as you can see it, it it needs another set of stairs to get to that set of stairs right there so i made like a little platform i don't know i like the way it came out l-shaped stairs like i need some new staircases in the sims 4 i need them i need it i need it i know it's not like a huge thing but to me it's a huge thing because i need it I need it in my life. I need some staircases. I, I need it. Like, I need it. <laughs> so, um, like I see the L shape, I, that just made me so happy to that, that I can like jazz it up a little bit. Um, but definitely Sims team <laughs> stairs needed. Um, but also on a good note with the Sims team, we're getting a new stuff pack, um, which is the toddler one. I was always wondering because they always an they announced it like a month ago about the toddler thing. And then I was like, is it ever going to come? So I'm just checking if the, ch if the stairs work and they do work. So go download it. You might have to furnish the house all over again, but you get the stairs so <laughs> i think that makes up for it but yeah um they uploaded um they, they they gave us a notice about the stuff pack a while ago but they never really uploaded anything about it so i was like is something wrong they're like do they like quit it? did they like end up not making it but it's coming out next week but sadly i don't think i'm gonna be here to do like a review or anything on it or even test it out i'm gonna be across the border i'll be in new york in about a week and a half no i leave next week at this time next week i will be in new york so and this week next time that's when the stuff pack will be coming out which sucks but it's okay when i come back from my trip i will give it a test drive we'll see i know like i come back on the 30th and then um so i have like a full like i am packed i literally have to go oh my god i have to go shopping for my um stuff <laughs> oh jeez guys i am i am so behind on everything okay i need to go to sleep it's it's five o'clock in the morning you're, you're talking to 5 a.m malik um but yeah so the thing is i'm going to new york um next week so uh next week thursday so i have to find my stuff for my apartment like my furniture and stuff because i'm moving to an apartment well it's not really an apartment like i'm renting a room but i like i make it my own apartment i make like a i don't know you'll see it if i do a, if i do a room tour one day you'll see it um but um i kind of make it into like my own little apartment but anyways so wait maybe I do at the bungalow out here i have zero clue if i do or not but um what's it called again so anyway so yeah i have the thing i have to go to new york um next week thursday and then from now to next week thursday i have to go out to stores and buy all my stuff i have to buy my pillows i have to buy um my groceries and stuff that i'm missing i need to go and pick those up i i also need to go and um what's it called again finish my registration for my schooling like there's so much i have to do like i can't believe summer's over guys <laughs> i kind of want to cry summer is over back to school time you know it's real i made like my back to school series thing lookbook um that's you know it's real serious you know that's why i was that's what, this is what me and my brother always said it, you know it's serious because we never believed it's back to school my, like me and my brother are always in denial that back to school is never happening we know it's truly back to school when you see that first that first back to school shopping video of like kids going shopping like backpacks on sale or or get your eraser so like crap back to school time because once you see those commercials of back to school you know it's time <laughs> so me and my brother would always be watching tv like don't come on don't come on commercial don't come on don't come on then we see we're like mom it's back to school time let's go get a backpack and it's crazy now because i'm not in high school anymore i'm not in middle school anymore so i don't need like a new backpack and all that um i think i'm in my like my second last year of college which is crazy because after that then i'm done I'm officially a grown ass adult and I have to get a job. Oh god, don't even remind me. Oh my god. Um, but yeah. It's it's kinda crazy. It's kinda crazy to think that. But you know what's even more crazy right now? Because you guys, this this whole YouTube thing has gotten me questioning so much. Like I can sit here and I'm, I'm gonna sit here and talk about it because um like I'm going crazy inside because I love this. I love what I'm doing. Like 
people ask me all the time um because you know you always gotta be like oh like when you go to a party you're like oh how you doing how's your summer you working what you what, what's your job like you don't care like they don't care but you know it's, it's the norm you have to ask them so i'm always like i don't work <laughs> i don't tell okay the thing is i don't like to tell people to do youtube not because i'm ashamed of it i'm not it's just that i feel like it's a thing that when people like I'm a YouTuber, they either have two things like then they ask you, oh, how, really? How much subscribers do you have? And then you go, like with me, I say I have like 20, even though I have like 37. I say I have 20. I like to dumb down my things because I don't want people like, oh my God, you probably have a lot. I'm like, I don't know. It's just, I like dumbing down stuff. It's just a, it's just a habit of mine. Like when my, like the first time I ever told my parents was when I had, when I hit 10K. That's when my, that's when my parents fa like truly found out. My friend, uh, that's the time my parents actually truly found out that I was doing this like seriously. Like they always knew I had a YouTube channel, but they never actually thought this was actually happening to me, that I was actually getting subscribers and all that. So when I hit 10K, I was like celebrating it. And then I was like, what's up? I'm like, um, I hit a milestone. Um, I got, I got, I got a lot, a lot, a blah, 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 I got a lot of subscribers. And then my mom's like, oh, how many? I'm like, five thousand like i don't know why it just it just came out i don't know i just hate telling people the exact amount that i have i don't know i just feel like dumbing it down maybe because some part of me is like oh maybe people are like oh that's it and i'm like what do you mean that's it i'm happy with what i got i don't need any more like <laughs> like subscriptions are like i love subscriptions i love to know that people are following me but they don't they don't mean everything like the more thing like subscription like this is my idea of youtube subscriptions are nice for all the people that are starting youtube listen Subscriptions are nice. It's nice to see that you have 37 subscribers. You have 20,000 subscribers. You have a, a million subscribers. It's nice to see that figure. But what really drives YouTubers, well, in my in, well, in my case, and which I think in most people's cases are, is the people that come back each day to watch your videos. It's not the subscribers, because you could have a million subscribers and only a thousand people watch your video. It could go like that. And so what I think about YouTube, it's not that, oh my God, I have a million subscribers. That's great. It's that I have, a hundred dedicated people that love me and that will come back and watch my videos even if i even if i upload the most dumbest thing today it could be a 30 second video on how 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 stupid the climate change is in canada i could do that and i know that at least 20 of like not 20 i don't more than 20 guys at least 20 like 200 of you guys are gonna watch it they don't like i can i can, honestly i can upload the most stupidest comment or the stupidest video and I know at least 200 of you guys are gonna watch it. I know I have I will have 37,000, which is great, and I love every single one of you guys for that, but I know for solid, I have a solid 200 at least that will watch the video, and that's what pumps me going. That, that That's what makes it going. Not, not the huge numbers, because the numbers are great, but the support that you get from the, you know, from the people that come back each day, that's what keeps me going, so. So that's why I always dumb it down, because people are like, oh, that's it. I'm like, yeah, that's it, that's fine. Like. I'm fine with, a th I was fine with a thousand subscribers, honestly, because I had that 10 people that came to my channel each day like, oh, Mac, you upload another video. I can't wait. And that put a smile on my face because they were waiting for, you know, the anticipation, that loyalty. I don't know. It's crazy. It's a crazy feeling. So that's why I say to like newer YouTubers, the people that ask me, um, what's like, what do you, like, how do you feel about having this much subscribers or how do you feel about this? I'm like, I don't, I, I, I love it. It's nice to know that I have subscribers, but it's not the best part of YouTube. It's not the best part knowing that, oh my God, I have a million subscribers. No way. No, that's not the best part. The best part is knowing that there's people coming back each day saying, yes, another Machiavelli video. Yes, yes, I get to watch another back video. This knowing this, that, that there's an excitement and that people love watching your channel and that people like dedicate their time to come back and be like, yo, Mac, are you uploading anything today? Or like when you don't upload, or like when you don't, when you don't upload something, you're like, oh no, Mac didn't upload today. Like that feeling, you can't beat it. it. It's the best feeling in the world. And I, and it's surreal because I used to do that person be like, oh, this person didn't upload today. And just to know that people are doing that to me, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. So, so that's like a little insight to like how I, I like how I pictured YouTube and how this whole conversation started was that you guys had literally changed my thoughts about my life. Cause I always thought I'm going to, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to graduate to college and I'm going to get a job. No, what happened is I'm going to go to college. I'm going to graduate, get a job. And that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. That's it. And then I always thought, Hey, I want to do YouTube here and there, but I never thought I was actually going to like take off. I was actually going to do it. But now 
I'm actually doing this and it's crazy to think and I'm doing something that I love because there's people that do YouTube just for YouTube. They'll do it just for YouTube to say I have a YouTube channel, that I have this many subscribers, that I'm making this much money. I'm doing this because I love it. Like I personally love what I'm doing because I think like I put so much time and dedication to my videos to making these videos like, like this build took me three hours to do. That takes a lot of dedication and the thing is when you're doing homework it takes you through hours and you hate it and you're like oh i want it to be done but i was doing this i'm like i'm having so much fun picking on the furniture and picking out the colors i love it and just know that i can make a living off of this it is crazy and i'm so blessed to even be put in the situation because of you guys and i'll never forget like the thing about youtubers that i've always hated um not all some but like a lot of youtubers that i've hated like that i've watched have done this and they have like gotten big and they're there and they just never really think about where they have come from or where they have been or like what they have done before they got there like they've always just you know taking it for granted you can kind of say be like oh i got this much subscribers well thank you guys that, and that, that's pretty much it they just they say they thank you guys and then they like that they like okay we're done I, I i did what i need to do i thanked you guys and that's it i don't need to like go on and on about you guys you guys, you guys are here for me right that's that's I, I like i know a lot of people a lot of youtubers don't do it but that was like one of my biggest pet peeves of youtube because i'm like because there's even this one person that i watched and then he was he was reading hating like he was reading hater comments and he's like i don't need you guys i don't need you guys like i'm doing fine like i'm making money now i'm like i'm like dude like where were you like just think about if we weren't there to support you you would not be where you are like i get it that you have a hater but you can't really like you know sub out all the other people that are sitting there watching your videos supporting you because even if you like there are people that will not like your videos and they will still sit there and spend their time watching it because they care about you like i'm pretty sure with me too i'm pretty sure some of you guys hate my videos but you guys are gonna come back each day and watch it because you guys love me which is crazy and i can't thank you guys enough for it so i know people like do that but i think a lot of youtubers take youtube like take subscribers for granted which I pray to myself I never do like if you guys ever see me take you guys for granted like tell me message me say Malik you best wake your ass up because you'll be taking us for granted like tell me because I like that's, that's one of the promises like I said to myself if I ever get big I would one stay humble always stay humble always always be ha like always remember where you came from never forget that you were nothing until your subscribers found you and subscribed to you and started loving you and showed you support you would still be nothing without them and if you forget about that i just feel like you're being selfish and you're not being grateful for what you got and that they got you there so uh, definitely if i step out a line let me know yo message me say malik <laughs> you messing up bro you best you best guys get those in shape because we have to like you know l let me know because there's some times where i do some stuff and i'm like malik you're not being humble you're not being grateful like don't don't sit there and whine you have it great you like there's some people worse than you there's some people better than you but you are one of the lucky ones so you should be grateful and that's what keeps me going and so um i just i just want to sit here and say thank you guys again and to say that you guys have changed me and changed my aspect because i said before i was planning on like just you know getting going to college of course like every other person went to college any a job and that's it but now i have this opportunity that you guys gave to me where i can make a living out of doing something that i love and that i can like i go to bed guys it's gone to the point where i go to bed like what am i gonna upload next and i think like i watched videos on bills and i watched like i've gotten so much insight on designing and it's crazy because i never thought that i would like i've always loved interior design but i never thought i had really had an eye for it until the sims 4 and shout out to like this this person changed my life so shout out to um i know she doesn't just do, she doesn't do uh videos anymore but shout out to um life simmer um your generations lp changed my life ever since i watched your generations lp i've always wanted to do youtube and she like really inspired me to like join the game because i never like i always knew about the sims but i never actually started playing it until i watched her lp so shout out to you life simmer you i know you're not watching this video and i know you're never going to and i know you're not even on youtube again 
again but i don't know where you are but you have changed my life and changed so many people's lives and i want to thank you for that because i'm pretty sure if i never watched a video i'd never fall in love with the sims as i do now i would have never made this youtube channel i've never that means i would never have gone like your guys' support you guys' friendship you guys' funny like snaps crystal like so much of you guys sam so much of you guys have messaged me and showed me so much love and that would have never happened if i haven't like watched that let's play on the sims and so it's crazy to think that one thing could change everything and it has for me so i want to sit here and thank her real quick because she has changed my life you guys have changed my life and like i don't know it's just honestly if you would have asked me a year ago this time i would have said i'm going to college to become a tech a tech guru and now I have no clue because I'm in love with what I'm doing right now with this and to know that I can sit here and do this and make you guys happy and inspire you guys for all the people that like messaged me saying I inspired them to chase their dreams into interior designing. I'm so glad I could do that for you. I am so flipping glad I could be the one to help you doing that. Like just knowing that I'm making a difference in people's lives. Okay guys, so today's, you know, today's song of the day, it's gonna be a special one. This song is one of my favorite songs, hands down. You can't go wrong with this song. So if you know this song, sing it with me. It's from a Nickelodeon show. Let's do it. Do 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 There'll be water bottles. Do 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 Hold on, remember the chorus. And Hey you, what's the matter? Baby, you've been looking down. Is that someone in the mirror? The reason you don't come around, that's crazy. Wanna be something them, thinking I'm pretty. Putting on a show, you wanna be So who you really gonna be? Only you can be you. Only I can be me. You always wanna be what you're not. Can't you be happy with what you got? You're perfect the way you are. With your insecurities, doubts, and scars. Life to shut to worry. Don't you know it's true? Only you can be you. Only I can be me. Only you can be you. Only I can be me. Yeah. Hey, boy, what's the matter? Baby, you've been looking down. Is that someone in the mirror? The reason you don't come around. Then I'm crazy. Oh, you mean me? Then I'm crazy. You wanna be, wanna be, so who you really gonna be? Only you can be you. <laughs> Only I can be me. You always wanna be what you're not. Can't you be happy with what you got? You're perfect the way you are. With your insecurities, doubts, and scars. Life too short to worry. Don't you know it's true? Only you can be you. You can be you. I can be. Only you can be you. You can be you. I can be me. Mm. If you if you're sorry and the guy with your hands up. If you. Feel <laughs> Remember the rap part? Put your hands up. You can be you. I can be me. You can stop even you're on TV. You tall. You short. You different. You cute. You light. You dark. You beautiful. You. Only you can be you. Only I can be me. You always want to be what you're not. Can't you be happy with what you got? You're perfect the way you are. With your insecurities, doubts, and scars. Life is short to worry. <laughs> Don't you know it's true? Only you can be you, you can be you, I can be me, you can be you, I can be me, I can be you, 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 I can be you,
can be all you can be you you can be you I can be me you can be you I can be me yeah I love that song um if you know that if you know where that song is from leave it in the comments down below have a great day guys hey only you can be you and I can be me love y'all peace